This is to encourage every Nigerian youth out there. And that's the lessons of aviation. Uh, you see, it doesn't matter what is happening. There are four forces always present every time an aircraft is about to take off. Something's going to drag it. So we have the force of drag, we have the force of weight. But at the same time in the environment, the aircraft is also crafted. That is why it's called an aircraft. It's crafted to generate trust and to generate lift. And the air craft is designed in such a way that in spite of the drag and the weight it can attain any height so i want you to look at our country you see we can just go all out there and what we're doing is we complain about the state of the infrastructure the state of education and the state of our polity those things will continue to drag us down but why not focus on the things that will give us the capacity building the trust that is needed to generate an escape velocity so that in spite of the fact that these forces are present in the environment, you can move your aircraft to any altitude and to any destination of your choice. In this same time where people are complaining, people are doing business, people are doing things every day in this country and are making clean money. So that means people are soaring in this country, people are flying. That means aviation is going on every day here in the social economic space. So it doesn't matter what is happening. The truth about the matter is, is there will be no time when a plane is about to take off or to land that weight will not be there, that drag will not be there. But the pilot doesn't focus on the weight and on the drag. The pilot focuses on capacity, revs his engine. Because once trust is equal to drag and lift is equal to weight, the airplane will take off. So instead of complaining and murmuring, why not build capacity? And one of the things God has done to us as a generation of young people growing up in Nigeria today is the power of IT, the power of the internet. That should give anybody some wings, some hair under their wings. That should make anybody to stretch their wings and to get ready to generate the necessary escape velocity in the scheme of things. It's not difficult. So the pilot is not concerned about the fact that there's drag or there's weight. The pilot is looking for how to generate counter forces to balance these forces, knowing fully well that once these forces are balanced out, aviation is a reality. And that is the message for every young person in Nigeria. And the message is that it does not matter how bad the situation is. All you just need to do is to find some runway, be your own pilot, determine where you want to go, determine the altitude, and we got on your side. But to be complaining about the drag and about the weight is what is slowing us down. No, nobody is going to fly that way because those forces will be there. So supposing Nigeria doesn't change in another 10 years, supposing things continue like this, it's just a question because things continue like this, I mean, since we were born. You know, we've been told Nigeria will change, but here we are 40 years after, it's still pretty much the same thing. But does that mean in the midst of all that people are not still flying? So what is important as a pilot is for you to determine the altitude you want to fly and to determine your destination. And with God on your side, sincerely, it's not difficult. So let's look at some of these things and how it happens. So the guy gets on the aircraft, he looks at his instrument and he's paying attention to all those readings. So that means anyone that is going to fly and there's going to be a pilot to what is sought doesn't listen to what is going on around him. And that is why they lock the door. You've got to be focused. So focus is the name of the game. So what kind of thing are you developing in this environment? Look at the enormous opportunities we have in agriculture. A lot of young people are going back to the farm now. But we still have a lot of young people still complain because they don't see the trust in the scheme of things that agriculture is producing in the scheme of things. So also is IT. So if you look at it, you realize that wherever drag is prominent, it's always an opportunity for trust to be manufactured. Because for a plane to fly, the trust must be equal to the drag. So that means if our environment is like this, that means the drag that can be generated in this environment by the reason of the trust that is available in the environment is enormous. So, so if something is weighing us down, that means what the weight is telling us also that the lift that can be generated, that this environment is capable of allowing us to generate is also enormous. So as a young Nigerian person, what 
is your vision? What is your dream? Remember a pilot and remember that this thing is all about soaring. It's all about aviating. And that is what aviation is all about. So the next time you look up and you see that plane flying, just remember that it has defied all the odds. And it's not saying the situation should change, but it's saying, and the message is passing across to you and I, is that in the midst of all this, in spite of all this, I will reach my goal. I will get to my destination. And that is that is the what the aircraft is telling us as it's flying overhead and wherever you see one. And if you enter one too, that is the message. So it's telling you, yeah, there's turbulence. It's telling you, yes, uh, you know, at times the weather chart or the weather report is not favorable. It's telling you at times that at times winds are blowing contrary direction. But it's also telling you, I'm crafted enough to get to my destination. And that is the message. God bless you. And God bless the Ferrari Broker of Nigeria.